it is true that incubation period is not fixed when it comes to rabies infection. It could be five days up to two years in human beings. So we don't even want to get here. We don't want signs of symptoms at all. But why is it so? Let's go. The incubation period is not fixed. And that is because we have so many factors that could determine the incubation period from five days to two years. The first I'm going to consider is the size of the bite or scratch. If this occurs at the head and neck region, it's going to be faster. Also the viral load. The variant and then the concentration of the inoculum. If it is higher, the incubation period will be shorter. The host immunity is another strong factor. Depends on the immunity of the bitten animal or the human being that has been bitten. The presence of Rabies virus neutralizing antibody IgG will confer some level of immunity. When we have that, the immunity of the host will be stronger than the person without it. Therefore, the incubation period will be longer. Certain cytokines, no presence in the host uh, immune system will also delay the onset of signs and symptoms, making the incubation period to be longer. For example, the presence of interferon, you know, it's a form of cytokine, right? Will confer you know, another immunity you know, on the host. So the disease won't be able to, you know, uh, become established. A previous vaccination will also disrupt the disease course. So all these will alter the incubation period. That is why we cannot find a fixed time to say the incubation period will be five days, five weeks, five months. No. It could be five days and it could be two years based on these factors but commonly commonly the incubation period will be between one month to three months